You can get this product and so much more at www.safariltd.com. And don't forget to use the coupon code SPINODU to save 15% on your next order and show your support for the channel. Greetings, hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be doing a year in review for Safari LTD 2021. This has been a very small year for Safari, understandably because there is a lot going on in the world, and Safari only introduced three new dinosaurs into their wild Safari prehistoric world range, and they're all theropods. Now, I think this was a smart move on Safari's part to do the triple theropod lineup. Carnivorous dinosaurs sell very well, and with everything going on in the world, I do think it was a smart move to introduce three new theropods into the realm to make sure that they sell well. Now let's just do a quick overview of each of these. So first of all, we have the Despletosaurus. This one was a pretty surprising choice. I thought the next Tyrannosaur that Safari was going to remaster from older iterations that they made was going to be Albertosaurus, but Despletosaurus, I'm totally on board with them making. We literally don't have any other figures of Despletosaurus out on the market right now, to my knowledge, and Despletosaurus is a pretty well-known genus, and overall I think this figure just has such a striking presence on the shelf. The pose is great, the detail's great, I love the colors on it and everything, and it is my new favorite Tyrannosaur figure that they've ever made right now. Up next we've got the Baryonyx that they introduced into their range, and this one is a very well Welcome edition. We've needed a new Baryonyx figure for ages now, and Safari has finally delivered for us. And it came out great, pretty much what I expected from Safari for a new Baryonyx. Colors are really nice, the detail is decent overall, and the accuracy is pretty much on point here. There's a few little quirks about it, but it just has to go along with the sculpting style of this figure and the scale it was replicated at. The only problem I have with the Baryonyx is the tail especially is made out of a very brittle and solid material for how thin it is, so do be careful when you get this one in hand because it is quite fragile. And then the last one that they introduced is their new Spinosaurus. This one is very surprising and quite welcome, at least in my opinion, although this one is a little bit controversial in the community. Because the range is so small for 2021, some people wanted a new species introduced, and this new Spinosaurus kind of caught us off guard after just getting one literally two years ago in 2019. But while this one is substantially smaller than their 2019 offering, I think it is a substantial improvement in so many ways. The biggest thing that's surprising about this figure for me is that it is based off of a new study that just came out in early last year in 2020. Now Safari, whenever they make a new updated version of a dinosaur based on a new discovery or new research, etc., they always take at least like two or three years to replicate it. And this is the fastest that we've ever seen them make a new dinosaur figure that's based off of a new scientific breakthrough or discovery or something. And that leads into my next point is that we have a different sculptor here for this one. The style of this figure is pretty much totally different from the other two theropod offerings that we have. The colors here are so vibrant and eye-catching. The scalation detail is so crisp and just different, but different and fresh in a very good way. The only downside of this new Spinosaurus is that it objectively has the most inaccuracies compared to the other two theropods that they had to offer for this year. The head is unfortunately shrink-wrapped. There is a presence of bird-like scales and scoots running up the hands and the feet, which it is suggested that theropods would not have had those now. And one thing that was brought to my attention after I made the review for this one a couple months ago is that the fourth toe on Spinosaurus's feet should be weight-bearing. What would be the dewclaw and other theropods would actually be bearing weight on the ground, and it unfortunately is represented as just a dewclaw on this figure. Now these are issues, of course, that I myself can overlook because it's just such a pleasant little figure and is such a fresh new style with these bright, bold colors, this really crisp detail that almost looks digitally sculpted. It's so crisp in some areas. And yeah, I understand why people don't like this Spinosaurus, but I have to say, just for being so different from the rest of Safari's prehistoric range and just pure visual style, it's just so refreshing. And I hope that Safari brings this sculptor back, whoever made this Spinosaurus, to at least give us like one or two offerings every year in future years to come. Because it is really just a beautiful, beautiful little figure in my opinion. Now, looking at all three of these together, which one is my favorite for 2021? Truth be told, I don't have a favorite. It is so hard to pick between the three of these now. I thought the Spinosaurus was going to be my favorite, but 
getting all three of them together, there's so much good here. Safari really focused on giving us quality over quantity for 2021, which I really appreciate. The Despletosaurus might seem like the most least interesting genus-wise just because it's another Tyrannosaur, but the execution on this Despletosaurus is what stands out to me, and I think that's where it really shines with the pose, and then those really bright, vibrant colors to really draw attention to it on the shelf. The Baryonyx is just a Baryonyx. It's a really good Baryonyx that we've been waiting for for ages and we finally have it. And that's reason enough to make it my favorite for 2021. But then the Spinosaurus just came completely out of left field. We totally didn't see this one coming. And just with this new sculpting style, these beautiful, vibrant fish-like colors all over it, and it, of course it doesn't match well with the rest of the Wild Safari prehistoric range, but it's just so fresh, like I said, and it's reason enough on its own just to be my favorite. Like I said, Safari focused on quality over quantity this year. And I know there's some people who are frustrated that this is all we have for the Wild Safari prehistoric range for 2021, but we need to be thankful, guys. While we're amidst all this chaos that's going on in the world, Safari pulled through and gave us three awesome dinosaur figures. For 2021, we could have not gotten anything, but we got three awesome theropods here. So thank you, Safari, for pulling through and giving us three awesome dinosaur collectibles for 2021. And now it's time to talk about the sort of elephant in the room. I did not forget these two, the armored dinosaurs, the armored T-Rex and the armored Triceratops. I'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible. A lot of people highly dislike these figures. Understandable, you want more real dinosaurs. But so far I wanted to do something for the Mythical Realms line, and I think this is a really fun idea, and I'd like to see this expanded on in the future. My inner, like, five-year-old is kind of jumping for joy when I look at these, and it's just like, oh, that's so cool, you know, a T-Rex and a Triceratops and gladiator armor, that's so cool. But I have to say, while I appreciate the idea behind these figures, it still kind of feels like Safari was holding back the potential with them, because the dinosaur designs are quite uninteresting. I like the Triceratops better than the T-Rex. The T-Rex is kind of just really boring in general design. And then the armor, I feel like could have gotten a little more crazy to really nail that fantasy aspect down on it. And that goes especially for the Triceratops, which feels a little bit bland armor-wise in comparison to the T-Rex with all the spikes and everything. And then another breakthrough with this year for Safari is that the T-Rex has an articulated jaw, and this articulated jaw just does not work well or look very good. But I appreciate Safari experimenting with something totally fresh like this for the Mythical Realms line, rather than throwing articulated jaws on their Wild Safari prehistoric range dinosaurs. And Safari, if you're watching this video, don't touch the style that you have going for the Wild Safari prehistoric range. I'd like to see more with the sculpting style for that Spinosaurus, with the bright colors and just the really different detail style and everything, but don't bring articulation into that range. If you want to experiment with it with the Mythical Realms line, with these armored dinosaurs in the future or whatever, then please do that and work on it there. But I really think the charm of your Wild Safari prehistoric range is that they just feel like hand-sculpted, hand-painted little figurines. And when you add articulation to that, it kind of muddies that sort of homemade, family-owned feel. But yeah, the armored dinosaurs for the Mythical Realms line, I really like the concept. I just feel like the execution isn't quite there yet. But anyway, all in all, a very interesting year for all five of these figures with sort of the half and half between fantasy and reality. But in conclusion, I am extremely happy and I hope Safari continues to do this because in the past couple years from them, we've had some great figures come out. But then there's some sort of quality issues and production issues with a few of them and everything. And some of the figures, sculpt-wise, are just kind of bad eggs in the group that have accuracy issues or have little sculptural quirks about them or whatever. But all three of these new theropods that we got for the Wild Safari Prehistoric range are just really solid and you can tell that Safari drove home quality over quantity, like I said. And I think I'm just gonna put that in the title because that's really just what comes to mind for 2021 for Safari LTD. But anyway, if you wanna get any of these figures for yourself, use the coupon code SPINODUDE at checkout on safariltd.com to save 15% on your next order and to show your support for the channel. Let me know which of these new offerings from 2021 is your favorite in the comments down below and just put your whole ranking list for all of these new figures down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even though we got through all of Safari's new figures for review pretty quickly this year, I do have some other ideas for Safari-related content coming your way very soon. That's all for now, guys. I'll catch you all in my next video. So take care 
and bye-bye.